guys, Lauren here. I'm once again sitting here with Kristen Laffey, producer, friend of mine, actor, casting director, all of the above. And um, this is something that I'm always wondering, being you know an artist and a creator, how on earth do you mesh? Like, you know, we're all very opinionated people. Being artists, you're very opinionated. But oftentimes, like, how do you mesh your political, sociological, religious beliefs with the, the art you're making? Because sometimes you're going to do do something and it, it's so far beyond your belief system. Right. How do you mesh these two things? Right. When you're an actor and you're doing whatever job you can to get money, sometimes it's hard to bring your own, you know, uh, political side into it. But luckily for me, I write and I create a lot of my own work. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, I'm a gay filmmaker, so a lot of my things are kind of LGBT, which I think is like always an important topic. Mm -hmm. So that's like the why now kind of for me. Also, what is the why now? Explain the why now. Well, I mean, gay, gay, uh, you know, visibility. Mm -hmm. um, cool. There needs to be more gay content that isn't just um, coming out stories or like sad stories about teenagers getting beat by their parents because they're gay, you know? Uh -huh. We can have stories about gay people that just do things in life. Because I'm a gay person <laughs> and I don't just come out and cry in the woods. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that is what I mean by gay visibility. And then uh, the female gaze, which I say is like non-sexual female nudity, which I'm doing a documentary on right now. Cool. Um, and what is the documentary called? Tell, tell our viewers. Uh, working title is called Underwear, um, but we're not 100% sure. we still working on it. But yeah, um, showing women through the female lens. Okay. Uh, which I think is uh, topical and I always do. Okay, well, so how, how do you, if you're doing a project that you're kind of out of control of because it's not yours, right. and you're cast in a role and you do, you do not follow the belief system of whatever this character is going through or who she is, how do you impart those, you know, your personal beliefs into that character in an appropriate way? Um, I would say uh, you just have to empathize with the character and, you know, you could say, you know, maybe I'm not taking out of this project exactly what my character believes in but i learned you know how to empathize with somebody else's beliefs or mm -hmm. i learned how to you know yeah work with people of different uh you know belief systems than me you know if you're working with like a misogynist director or something mm -hmm. i mean um learning try not to from, do that learning from them kind of what not to do and mm -hmm. like i've worked on many set like i love saying like I love working with people because I can either work with them again mm -hmm. or never work with them again. Mm -hmm. So you can like and you have that lot. control, right? And even if you're fired from a job, right? And I've been fired from jobs. I mean, you may or may not be getting fired. <laughs> uh, I may or may not be getting fired from a job. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just learn. You learn more from being embarrassed and being like, "Wow, I'm never gonna make that mistake again," or "I'm never gonna work for these people again." Mm -hmm. Then if you're just comfortable, I always say, you know, comfortability is breeds, you know, artistic like. Yeah, you have to have like the sort of bite and the drive to keep working and telling the stories that you want to tell. I love that. Mm -hmm. Comfort comfortability breeds artistic depth. Mm -hmm. If you just are comfortable sitting at your house watching um, Two and a Half Men. Yeah, get uncomfortable. Yeah, That's what we're, get you, got, you got to get uncomfortable. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. <laughs>